We're with the great wide receiver Terrell Owens, the star of the Cincinnati Bengals, but here to discuss something a lot more important than that. His grandmother has Alzheimer's disease, diagnosed back in 1996. Are you close with her? Uh, that I am, very much so. How did you discover, how did she discover? Tell me the story. Obviously, I grew up with my grandmother, lived with her, and um, pretty much she's, she's the reason you know, why I'm who I am today. You know, my rookie season, I remember exactly why I was when I got a phone call from my mom, and uh, she said she had taken her in, you know, to kind of see what was going on, and that's when they said she had early stages uh, of dementia. Had you ever thought about Alzheimer's before that? Um, not at all. Um, I never even thought anything about what Alzheimer's was about, um, you know. When you went home to see her, what was it like? Um, I just try to, you know, try to be normal. And so I kind of, once I was there, kind of noticed some of the repetitive things that she would say. I mean, even when I talked to her on the phone, you know, months before, she would say the same thing as if, you know, she hadn't said it or, you know, she was reminding me of it. And so um, it got to a point where she didn't really notice or realize what I had become, you know, as didn't far know as- Didn't you were playing? Right. Um, I wow. had sent a picture home, you know, autographed and told her how much I loved her and how much she meant to me. And, you know, I had heard, you know, she would carry that picture throughout town and because she, she was very proud of me. And little did it, you know, did I know that, you know, she would never know exactly, you know, what it was. Exactly. And so, um, wow. you know, to this day, she's, she's never, you know, seen me play a football game and really be, be conscious of what Does I was doing. Does she still know who you are? Um, not anymore. Well, now here's a woman who helped raise you, right? Exactly. Important part of your life. What is it like when you're with her and she don't know who you are? I mean, what's it like for you? You know, I'm it's I'm I'm trying to hold it together now, but it's uh, you know, I just hold on to the good memories, and that's what I I try to do. You know, it's you know, for me to sit here and talk, I get emotional. Um, but I just I just enjoy the moment you know that I have with her and. The disease is tougher on family members, you said, than the patient. That it is, because I think with the patient, they don't really realize the state that they're in, um, the onset of it, um, and then the, as it gradually, um, you know, deteriorate, deteriorates uh, the mental aspect of their their uh, of the disease. Um, but the ones that really have to go visit, um, take time, um, and as myself, financially, you know. Uh, emotionally, it, it takes a it takes a lot out of. Um, there were times early on where I was very proud that the fact that she knew who I was uh, going into the the assisted living home that she was in. She knew myself, my mom, and her her husband that that had passed, and that was about it. She didn't even recognize or know her own son, and so I knew that I had made a a big presence and a big right. impact on her life. Do you think we'll ever have a cure? Uh, I'm not I mean, a doctor, but right. Yeah, I mean, I think with 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 the continued research, then you know, I feel like you know, that's possible, and I think that's why I sit in this chair today is to to help, um, you know, with the cause, you know, to help, you know, as far as the awareness and uh, to create the awareness and and, and have people. Uh, come aboard and, and try to find a, find a cure for it. A Larry King special, The Alzheimer's Epidemic. CNN Sunday, May 1st, 8 Eastern.